How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. We're in a little fishing spot. Let's talk to this buddy guy here. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. Yeah, okay. Okay, here's how you do it. Use left and right on the control pad to aim a cast. Once you hook a fish, press the button rapidly to reel him in. Okay. Uh. Eh. Uh, so let it drop. Wow, that actually went really well because I want one of the big fishies. Big fishy. Yeah! Hit the button, hit the button, hit the button, hit the button. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Yee! Nice. Wow, nice fish. It's a lunker. I'll give you a 20 rupee prize. Try again? Yes. Okay, so that wasn't the one I wanted. Apparently, it's the one that's right below us. It's okay if you catch all of them. I mean, that's fun too. But it, there is a reason why I'm here. Let's bring that back. Oh, he's got to get it. That's fine. It gets him off the map. So that's cool. It's a runt. I'll give you five. So it does cost money. When I do that, I mean, I, I lose five rupees. It's really not a big deal. But now that they're out of the way, I can kind of let the, uh... No, 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 don't go all the way. The Jeez, man. Oh, it's not going to go down if I don't let it. No! Damn you. Oh, whatever. Easier than real fishing. Question of the day. Do you fish? Do you like to fish? I fished, I think, once, and I didn't really like it. Um, I think now that I'm older, I wouldn't mind doing that. Like, trying... It didn't help that I was... I was We were doing the type of fishing where you wade into the water and have the dumb boots. I'd rather be in a boat. But, I don't know. It's very costly, I would assume, because you need all that equipment, which I clearly wouldn't have, so... I can't imagine me liking it. No! No! Damn it, I guess we're clearing the whole screen. It's a runt. That's okay. What is worth all this trouble, you might ask? It, well, it's it's a Zelda game. What do you think the reward is here? It's the same reward it always is. But, it's a good reward, so I'm happy. Let it go. Fish will not leave that little, like, alcove. Come here. Come here. And it's hard to like make it go. I don't want it to pull it up completely because I don't want it to like end my fishing session. There we go. And there we go. Oh, it's a big one and it has a piece of heart too. You get a 20 ruby prize on top of that. Try again? No, there's no fish, man. You have to have more, have more passion. Live a little. Thanks, buddy. Awesome. So let's continue on exploring the village a little bit. Now that we have our sword, we can do a little bit more. One of the things we can do right here is farm a little bit for money. It's not really why I'm here, but it's it's a good place to do it uh, if you do want to do that. But in here is a secret seashell. Woo! Um, there are a bunch of secret seashells, uh, but I think you only need like 26 of them or something like that. Um, and once, there's actually more than you need. And once you find as many as you need, the rest actually just disappear. We'll be getting, um, you know, all that we need and that will give us a little, little prize at the end, but we don't know what that is yet. But we go to the shop, the trendy game, and we see the Yoshi doll. And there's a, that's a, a magic powder fill up right there and a shield in case it gets stolen from us. Trendy game, one play is 10 RS <laughs> rupees. The A and B buttons, uh, move the crane, the rest is just timing. Go over there to the buttons to play. Good luck, it's fairly easy. Obviously, um, the Yoshi isn't moving, so it's very easy to get Yoshi. Eh. Eh, there we go. Yay, a little little item catcher or whatever. I think in Japan they call them UFO catchers, which is weird. But whatever. Come here. Come on. And we got a Yoshi doll. You got a Yoshi doll. Recently, he seems to be showing up in many games. Yeah, he, this was the height of Yoshi mania where everyone just adored Yoshi. But now uh, that we have the Yoshi doll... Uh, oh, this place, by the way. If you are ever stuck, you can call Old Man uh, Olrira. Olrira, I don't know. Hello, it's me, Olrira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. By click. And he actually lives right over here. Hello, little old lady. Oh, well, I, I'm, gonna, I'm about to kill her. Sorry. Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? Well, you're dead. And that's Olrira right here. Isn't he adorable? I love him. Uh, uh, um, how to say, uh, please call outside. It seems that Old Man Olrira is a shy guy in person. I think that's really cute. You call other people. Yes, it's the Bucket Mouse. Thanks for calling. Well, click. You must have dialed a wrong. What the hell's a Bucket Mouse? Anyways, um, the Yoshi, uh, Yoshi doll marks the first item in Zelda's very first trading sequence. Uh, it's it's been a huge thing in Zelda games. Uh, this is where it all started. The trading stuff. Um, oh yes, I want to bring her to the mom. She wanted it for her kid. Oh, hello, Marin. Phil, Taryn's taking a nap at home. 
I don't know how we can sleep on such a, a nice day. It makes me want to sing a song. Yes, the song is Ballad of the Windfish. Uh, I actually really like this song. Uh, the Switch version, um, it's actually just in the, in the, in the, like, trailer or something like that. Uh, but there is a song with, like, that version of the song with the lyrics. It's not in the actual game, though. And I'm like, why would you not put that beautiful piece of music in the game? But whatever. Hello, I got your Yoshi doll. Oh, will you give that doll to my baby? Yep. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. And we get a bow. Awesome. A ribbon, I guess. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. And you just kind of keep going. I'm fairly certain it's mandatory. I don't even remember. I just do it every time anyways, so. And who wanted accessories and jewelry and diamonds and all that? Oh, I don't know. Let's go in here. Makeup, jewels, dresses. I want it all. And some new accessories would be nice. Uh, oh, that ribbon. I need it. Will you trade it for my dog food? Yeah, it doesn't sound like a good thing, but yes, you do want to do that. Lucky, thanks. He will, here's your dog food. Thanks. That's amazing. Hooray. Uh, so, now that's all we can do in the town right now, so let's continue back downwards. We should head to the tail cave. But first, before we do that, actually, head down. You might remember someone who is a collector, a very strange guy, who's a collector of canned foods. So we can actually do the third part of the uh, trading quest already. Hey, buddy. What's that you have? It's canned food. For heaven's sakes, man. Give that dog food to me, please. He's hysterical. What do you do? Don't. I don't suppose it would do any good to beg. Well, if you change... Oh, God. It's like he's hysterical. I wonder what he's going to do. So, Anyways, yes. Let's obviously give it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. He just eats it right away. I thought he was a collector, but I guess he just eats it. Munch, munch. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. It's true. Bananas are not very expensive, so... <laughs> you give him canned food and got bananas in return. Good deal. Not really. I mean, i rather eat bananas, but... But with that, let's head into... Uh, into the tail cave. Up we go. I think we've gotten everything we can kind of do right now. At least as much as I'd like to do right now. I mean... It's a Zelda game, you can always backtrack and have fun doing that, so. Make as much money as we can as we keep going. Ah, damn it, I went right for that piece of power. It's okay, we're just about, we're a couple screens away from the tail cave anyways. And when you hit people with the piece of power, like, it smashes them away. Which is not fun either if you want to collect, like, you know, rupees and hearts and stuff, but. Whatever, complain about nothing now. Hello, Lone Tree. Here we go. Put the key in. Nice. We headed into our very first dungeon. Level one, the Tail Cave. All right. The key, uh, the um, dungeons are not that crazy or long. Obviously, in this, it's, it's still a portable Zelda game, but they are fun. Kill you all, damn you! And get the compass. You've got the compass. Now you can see where the chests and nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. It's really cool, actually. Um, so anytime you go into a room in the dungeon that you have the compass, it'll go like do-do-do-do, and that means uh, there is a key. Like that. I'm like, I love that. It's a cute little feature. I hate how it always tells you every time you get the compass that it, what it does, but not a big deal. As you can see, this is a very easy, easy dungeon so far. You got a small key. Yes, yes, yes. There's like a speedrun thing that people like to do where you press the select button you go into the menu. I think it's the select button. Or is it the start and select button? I don't know. But um, you go to like the save menu and that'll uh, that'll skip the text for the chests, but I'm not going to do that. Not a big deal. We see a cracked chest or a cracked uh, part of the wall there. We don't have any bombs though. So this is actually uh, one of the few times in a Zelda game where you come back into a dungeon later on for a secret when you have the right tools. So, do we have a key? Do I have a key? So I do have two keys. Let's go in here. So because there's no way to get more than the three, like the default three hearts um, before you do this dungeon, I guess, I mean, I guess you get the the the, the um, item from this dungeon then keep going, but you don't really need to do that. You have, you have a no beak there. This poor owl statue is trying to say something, but you can't understand it because it has no beak. Um, 
It's because of the amount of health you have. This is unironically probably the hardest um, dungeon boss in the game. Uh, I find it really difficult and very easy to die. So yeah, let's kill those guys. And that'll get us a little staircase. I like how you can use your shield there. I like we have Goombas. Very weird. Uh, and you have these little fun little 2D side-scrolly areas. I love that. Uh, not a lot of Zelda games do it, but this one does quite a bit. And if you stomp on Goombas instead of slashing them, they'll always give you a heart. And I love that. What a cool little idea. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And up here, you see a weird floating power-up. That's very odd. Careful. I can't believe I was not careful. And we have the Rock's Feather. You got the Rock's Feather. It feels like your body is a lot lighter. I love the Rock's Feather. Put it on. And that's actually one of the reasons why I like switching out to have um, the sword as B and the jump as A, because jump is usually A in Zelda or uh, in other games. So they can get this. But yeah, the ability to jump in a, uh, a top-down Zelda game is something that's just I love it. It's really cool, and it happens uh, in most of them from now on. All the Oracle games have it. Uh, Minus Cap has it as well. I feel bad that I came here first because I don't have the beak for the owl. Um, it's kind of like the uh, Sarasrala, like telepathic tiles in Link to the Past. Ah, damn. Uh, but I came this way first, I guess, which I maybe I shouldn't have. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that did that. Well, learn something every day, I guess. Come here. What are you, a Moldorm? Is that what you're called? And key. Careful, the lightning guy. Kill you. I want some rupees or a heart. I'm okay with that too. I want to be. I want to be full life when I get to. Oh, can't get that. I'll be full life when I get to the boss. Um. Hmm. A lot of fun exploring. Oh, we have enough. Uh, oh yeah, I can't kill you, can I? I can just knock you down like that. Love that. Very cool. Boom! And you got key blocks in this game, which are like. Basically keys, but they're blocks instead of full doors. Oh, there we go. You've got the Nightmare's Key. Now you can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair. So, unlike A Link to the Past, where there is a the big key, which allows you to get the big treasure chest, this one, the Nightmare Key, just lets you go to the boss door, and that's it. So, you can always get the... Um, you usually get the uh, item before you get the boss key or the Nightmare Key, uh, which is fine. And I actually want to do... Just for the sake of completion, I guess. Head down. Back into the beginning, I think. Whoops. Oh, we don't have the map yet. Plus, oh yeah, on the map, now that we have the compass, you can see where all the treasure chests are. I love that. Very neat. Kill all you guys. Ugh, not a single heart drop. That's okay. We're not doing badly for hearts, obviously. The rupees are... Ah, damn it. I just go for pickups, man. I don't even think of it. Well, whatever. Eh. Oh, careful Stalfos. Considering this is for Game Boy, I actually like the graphics a lot. The colors obviously make a big difference, but... There we go, here's the map. Last you got the map. Press the start button to look at it. There we go. So you can kind of see it. it looks like a little tail. And you can see that little, um... Uh... The, the, the smaller square to the left. That's where I needed the bombs to get in there, so we can't do it right now. But keep it in mind for later. Game Boy Stalfos. Haha. Uh -huh. Actually, I might want to keep this for the boss just because I hate the boss. So this might be good for me. Uh, ooh, yay. Get these guys to have all the same suit. Unlike that, because I'm stupid. If you get them with hearts, uh, they'll actually all leave hearts, which is kind of a cool idea. Should've... Ah, come on, Phil. Oh, man. Being dumb, not paying attention. There we go. Boom! I think if it's diamonds, they'll leave the rupees. There we go, there's the beak. You found a stone beak. Let's find the owl statue that belongs to it. Turn aside the spinned ones with a shield. Thank you. Spined ones, not spinned ones. Um, it, it's, it's usually pretty obvious stuff, but I mean, it's nice to have little hints, I guess. I mean, we're basically at the end of the dungeon already. We get the mini boss. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um, the Oracle or the the Game Boy games all have mini bosses as well, which give you a fairy and a um, kind of like a checkpoint that you can warp back to if you die or leave the dungeon. This one obviously is like right near the end, so it's not really a big deal. You just go here. And we're back at the beginning. But we don't really need to do that, so <laughs> let's keep going. Ah, damn it. I saw it coming too. Shit. Uh, is there a Goomba down here I can stomp on? No. Well, let's, let's try this out. This could go really badly for me, though. Here we go. Buzz Buzz Outsider. This is, I think, the Moldorm. Oh, God. And... 
Ah, he'll knock you down like that. Which is not fun, obviously. Oh, God, the decaying corpses. It, it Because of that, his health goes back to normal, I'm pretty sure. And shit. And it's hard to just take him out with... I've only got one hit and then I'm dead after that, so... Ugh. See if I can get him with some spin slashes. Actually, I don't think it matters. I think it's like it, it's six hits, no matter what. And one more hit, and I'm dead. So you know what? I'm gonna go and get some health. I just I don't trust it. It's it's always where I die. Every time I play this damn game, it's always where I die. These guys take a, a full heart as well. Uh, let's go to the beginning again. Fight some easy enemies. You don't have um potions the same way you do in other Zelda games and I don't have access to them right now anyway so it doesn't matter I'm gonna farm a little bit I'll be right back guys all right so I've got full health uh and I've also got a uh guardian acorn so I'll be able to take a couple more hits now, obviously that's not gonna help me if I fall but it's nice it's better than not having it so okay one damn it I knew it oh my god I hate this guy so much but it looks like I still have the um guardian acorn so that's always good I remember that I can jump I mean that's kind of the whole fun thing about this rock's feather. So. Can I get away from him? Oh, I, I just, oh my gosh. It's just the head it looks like that does damage to me, so I just... As long as I'm careful. As he comes near me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the Guardian Acorn's good, though. Oh, there we go! Perfect! Oh my gosh, I hate this boss. But yay! And of course, that means we get a full heart. We do every time we uh, defeat a boss in a Zelda game. And we have our first instrument of the windfish. I love the instruments. I love the little little song it does for you every time you get one. It's really cool. You've got the full moon cello. Oh, I love that. And every instrument does a little different part to it, to this song. Swamp, a path opens in the blooms. Thank you for pointing out where I need to go. Always nice. Hoot, that is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north, in Gapongo Swamp. Hoot, indeed. Thank you. I mean, the, the, the thing already told me, but whatever. Now that we got the ability to jump, navigation is a little easier, which is always nice. Um, the worlds in the Game Boy Zeldas are always very condensed, uh, so it's nice to have little shortcuts to kind of go around. So, that's good. Head back up. Oh, no, something bad's happening. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then... It's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the m, -m moblins So, I mean, ah, good writing. <laughs> it might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Yeah, these guys, I mean, they're children's. <laughs> yeah, head to Miss Bow Wow. And you can see Chomp, uh, the Chain Chomp's gone. So, this is not, not a good sign. Uh, aye, it's terrible. My Bow Wow has dognapped by m, m boblins Oh, ah, please somebody help my poor Bow Wow. Well, okay. Um, it doesn't tell you where to go, but I mean, we need to go to the swamp to the next dungeon anyways. And that just happens to be where uh, Bow Wow is, is being hidden away from uh, from uh, his owner or her owner. Is Bow Wow a boy or girl? I have no idea. And the raccoon obviously is gone. Terran's gone back home, so we can just go up here. And, uh, I like, again, just a little... Ah, well, I, I mean, it'd be nice if I jumped. But little shortcuts, you can jump around. Jump around, get up, get up, and get down. Oh, actually, before we go and, uh, do anything else... Head over here. Avoid everything. We don't want to touch these damn things for it to tell us, Oh, it's really heavy. Yeah, I know it's really heavy. It's a gigantic rock. Why wouldn't it be very heavy? And, next piece of heart. Damn it, Phil, jump! This is the jump button. It's the A button. There we go. You've got a piece of heart. Press select on the subscreen. Yeah, yeah, I know. We need only one more, so hooray. Up here is the swamp. Um, and I think actually over here... Oh, is where we need to go. Hello. The windfish in name only, uh, for it is neither. Okay. And in here... 
Oh no! Ah, who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Uh, so yeah. My gosh, that's where, where Bow Wow must be. Those are the Moblins. So next time, we'll jump in there. We'll save Bow Wow. We'll be an amazing hero. I'm Phil Blanks. We'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.